Witherspoon has the ball teed up, and we're just about ready to get this one started. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Taken down at the 26. He tackles him for a loss. Loss of one there for the halfback. Completes it, and he's hit hard immediately. So the defense will hold them as they go three and out. Picture-perfect defense on that drive. That's what the defensive coordinator wants to see every single time. Smith is waiting for the snap. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. Smith takes it to 25. He's tackled at the 36-yard line. The Cougars' offense basically predicated on what this kid can do. The thing I love about this guy, Brad, is, is just the intangibles that he brings to the table. We've been seeing this guy make plays over the weeks, but the thing that I really recognize is his ability to really lead this football team. When things are going well, he's patting everybody on the back. When things are not going well, he's trying to pick them back up and getting them ready to go. So not only does he physically have the tools, but also I really love the way he approaches the game. From their own 36-yard line, second down. Fires in a hurry. Interception. Great catch by the linebacker, but not a smart throw from the quarterback. It didn't look like the quarterback even saw the linebacker hanging in that area. It pays to be in the right spot at the right time. Taken down, right around the 40. Quick pass. He's tackled at the 20. A nice looking play that time. Well, the defense was blitzing here, and again, great recognition by the quarterback to find the hot receiver. Give the defense all the credit here. They had that one snuffed out from the start. It could have been an even bigger loss. Second down and 11 yards to the sticks. Ball on the 22-yard line. And they make the stop at about the 13. They're eating up a lot of field on this drive. I'm really impressed with their ball control. Brought down around the seven yard line. So at the end of one quarter, still no score. That brings up second and goal. We're all tied up as we head into quarter number two. Throws this one away. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Fires out to his receiver. And down he goes at the three-yard line. It's fourth down. This should be an easy field goal. Cincinnati is looking to go up by three.
It's up, and he got it. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Well, it's always fun to be part of a defensive battle, and that's certainly what we have right now. Yeah, give credit to both of these defenses. I mean, they, they're playing with a lot of energy, and I think they're doing a nice job up front at the line of scrimmage. And at this point, they're not giving this either of these offenses a chance to make a play. I'm sure the quarterback would love to make amends for that last pick. The first rule on offense is to take care of the football. These guys... Passes left, going the other way for the 20. The 10, tackle at the seven yard line. The defense now has two interceptions in the game. I think there was a miscommunication there on the offensive side of the ball. I think maybe the receiver ran the wrong route, but regardless, still great play by the defense. First down and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Cincinnati has a three point lead. Yardage. The Bearcats taking their first time out of the half. Touchdown, Cincy! He splits the uprights with the extra point. A short two-play, seven-yard drive, and the result, seven points. So the score now, 10-0. They line up to kick this one away. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down to the end zone for a touchback. The offense comes out to start this drive, and they're hoping for a better result as they threw a pick on their last possession. And we'll see how aggressive this defense is when they come back out. I wouldn't be surprised if they kept up the pressure to try to fluster this quarterback some more. They'll bring him down at about the 33-yard line. So it's second down and about two yards to go. They pick up good yardage that time on the pass play. Here they kind of put pressure on the quarterback and challenged him to find the hole in the defense. And in this case, he did. Nice job. Here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. Under pressure, and he's sacked. Coaches don't like it when their quarterback gets hit like that. Don't be surprised to see the old coach get on his lineman to protect the quarterback a little bit better. And that'll be three and out. Montgomery waiting the return. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. He's taken down at the 28. Cincinnati's really putting a hurting on him right now. Well, you wonder if it was a coach or a player who kind of lit the fire under this offense, but we've seen a completely different looking team and they're executing at a much higher level. I think the defense has got to be able to make some adjustments after the last series where they were just dominated up front. Look for them to start to cheat up the safeties up close to the line of scrimmage, maybe leaving themselves vulnerable to the pass game. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. Receiver first down. As they head to the locker rooms, this one is far from over. 10 0 Cincinnati. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 halftime show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Steve Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. It is my job to come in and rain on a parade. 
I know, every, I know everything's gone right. I know they have all the momentum. I know that every little detail of the game plan has gone exactly as scripted. But, but, <laughs> overconfidence, too happy, too satisfied. How big a problem is that in the second half? But you always, you always have the excitement coming in the first half of a ball game, and you think it's going to be close when teams like this are evenly matched. But that doesn't mean you can lose your edge. That doesn't mean you can get complacent. A lot of times we see passion and energy in the first half and it starts to wither away. They got to make sure that they keep the energy up, continue to make plays. Don't think that you're that you're there because we've seen momentum switch like that. As soon as somebody flips a switch, it's hard to get it going back in the other direction. So you got to take advantage of these opportunities. David and I will be keeping an eye on your game and everything else going on in the country here in our palatial and comfortable surroundings in the studio. The best seat in the house belongs to Brad Nessler in Kirk Herb Street. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Bearcats continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Quick throw out to the receiver. Out of bounds around the 35-yard line. Makes the grab and steps out right away. He's knocked out of bounds around the 41-yard line. Wide receiver's role in a play-action pass is to get into position and to hit his spot in timing and rhythm with the quarterback. And that's exactly what they were able to do on this last play. You realize you've got a little bit more time because of the play-action, and it gives you more time to get to that point that the quarterback's looking for you to be at. But make sure you do a good job of selling your route and getting in position to give an open target for the quarterback. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. From the 26 yard line, it's second down. And he just gets rid of it. Slings it. Got some open field. Tackle made right around the 12 yard line. Fires quickly and he's got his man. Touchdown, Cougars. Here's the point after to try to cut this to a three-point game. And he converts the extra point. It was an eight-play, 75-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. Brett, I thought the key to that drive really had a lot to do with the quarterback and the receivers getting in sync, making it very tough for the defense to slow him down. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. Cincinnati is up by three. He's to the 40. And he's tackled at the 49. That always stings the defense to give up a big running play like that. They don't want to give up big chunks of yards on the ground. run up the gut. That'll bring up second and three. Let's go, D. 24 is the mic. Check, check. Play it in. 
He breaks it. Tackle outside after a nice pickup. He's got an opening. He's at the 20. Tacks on the extra point. Looks so like they're ready for the kick. He just drills this one. And they can forget about returning this one. The last time out, they were able to pick up big chunks of yards through the air. You wonder if they'll go back to that same strategy or will they start to lean a little bit more on their ground game. It's caught first down and he's out of bounds. The defenders are really going to have to get their heads into this game. That was a big play and on first down no less. To that quickly. There's very good chemistry between these two. They like to run through all their routes before the game. And I have to say, they look sharp before this one even started. Complete. What a catch. He's pushed out of bounds at the 21. First down. He's out of bounds at about the 11. That's three down and one to go. Cincinnati's got a 10-point lead. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. Just under two minutes in the game. Let's go! What a play, and that is first and goal. That's a game over here. Over here. That makes it first and goal. Ready! Red 18! Touchdown, Houston! Touchdown certainly has made it interesting here early in the fourth quarter because now we've got a football game. The draw within a field goal. And he hits the PAT. A six-play, 75-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. Brad, I love these kind of drives. They're old school, grind it out and earn the yards and just rip the heart right out of that defense. And he just got drilled. Brad, this is my kind of game. I love seeing this kind of production and the way these quarterbacks are playing. Both teams are challenging both of these defenses. So early in the fourth quarter in a very, very tight football game, and the game could hinge on this possession. And he's taken down at the 45. A one-yard gain by the halfback. We've got a second and nine here. Ball on the 45-yard line. Runs it left for a decent game. The Cougars call a timeout. That's their second of the half. Now he tries to buy some time. 
He's tackled around the 31-yard line. The defense might have just run out of chances with that first down right there. This offensive line definitely left it all in the field today. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. He's taken down at the 30, and he gets a yard on the run. Woo! I think everybody in this stadium felt that hit. He really laid some lumber there. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 30-yard line. He's at the 20. Knocked out of bounds at the 11. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. And the quarterback's going to take a knee to drain this clock and any hopes the opposition may have had. From the 14-yard line. Second down. Ready. Green 95. You're an offensive coordinator. You love this play. His quarterback will take a knee. And this is the eighth play of the drive. A great game here today in a tight one. 17-14, Bearcats. That brings this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports and Kirk Herb Street, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.